In this video, we will demonstrate how to prepare a KBR pellet for FTIR analysis. For demonstration purposes, we are using a ceramic mortar and pestle. Often for laboratory use, an agate mortar and pestle are used. Agate is a non-porous material which is easy to clean and therefore helps to reduce contamination. Using the large end of the spatula, add KBR to the mortar. Following this, use the small end of the spatula to add a small amount of your sample to the mortar. You should aim for a ratio of approximately 100 to 1 of KBR to sample. Use the pestle to finely grind your sample into a powder. Prepare the die by properly positioning the sleeve onto the base and inserting one of the stainless steel spacers. Using the spatula, add enough of the fine powdered mixture to evenly cover the spacer. It may be necessary to lightly tap the die to evenly distribute the solid. The spacer should be fully covered by a solid layer. Place the final spacer on top of the solid, followed by the anvil. Carefully transport the die assembly to the pellet press. Place the die into the press and ensure that the safety shield is locked. Turn the pressure building knob clockwise to begin building pressure. Pick up the handle and place it onto the press lever. Pump the handle to begin building pressure. Continue to pump the handle until the pressure gauge reads five metric tons. For your convenience, the correct pressure level has been indicated by a black line on the press. Turn the pressure building knob counterclockwise to release the pressure. You can now unlock the safety shield and remove the pellet assembly. While carefully holding the anvil in place, rotate the press upside down and place it onto a clean paper towel. Remove the base and carefully extract the pellet by lightly tapping the die onto the tabletop. Open the pellet holder and carefully place the pellet inside using the spatula to help with proper positioning. Close the holder and take the assembly to the IR spectrometer which should be set up with the transmission accessory. Carefully insert the pellet holder into the transmission sample slot. You are now ready to analyze your sample. 